unparalleled bravery unimaginable courage and the ultimate sacrifice namaskar on occasion of independence day it is a privilege to talk about the brave heart of 1971 india pakistan battle of basantar paramveer chakra second lieutenant arun khetarpal 21 years old and filled with dream to fight for his motherland at the front line paramveer chakra second lieutenant arun khetarpal we at vishwavidya peet bengaluru salute the courage of brave soldiers and martyrs who laid down their lives for our freedom i arti rao am proud to present the story of the man who even the enemy saluted paramveer chakra second lieutenant arun khetarpal second lieutenant khetarpal was born on 14th october 1950 in military hospital pune to brigadier m l khetarpal and mrs maheshwari a family with prestigious army background it was natural for arun to be inclined to join the armed forces he studied from the lawrence school sanawar and joined the national defense academy in june 1967 he graduated from indian military academy and was commissioned into the 17 pune horse on 13th june 1971 war clouds loomed at the horizon During 1971 war second lieutenant Khetarpal was undergoing the young officers course in Ahmednagar he was immediately recalled from the course to join his unit to take part in the famous battle of Basantar in Shakargarh sector on December 16 1971 Pakistan planned to attack Shakargarh sector on western India Indian soldiers crossed river Basantar for counter attack Second Lieutenant Arun took charge of one of the three tanks to launch attack After destroying 10 Pakistani tanks and losing two of our tanks Second Lieutenant Arun took the charge He fought a head on head battle alone destroying three more tanks his commanding officer ordered him to leave his burning tank but he denied saying no i will not abandon my tank my main gun is still working the battle continued two opposing tanks barely 100 meters apart fired together second lieutenant arun was hit and his tank burst in flames he was unable to escape and was mortally wounded in the dead of the night the enemy fled pakistani commander brigadier nasir returned to the field and saluted brave second lieutenant khetarpal the man who was a reason for their attack failure Pakistan surrendered on 17th December 1971. Second Lieutenant Arun's body and his tank Famagusta which were captured were returned to the Indian army. On 17th he was cremated near Samba district and his ashes were sent to his family. For his bravery, unfaltering leadership and supreme sacrifice, Second Lieutenant Arun Khetarpal was honored with paramveer chakra the highest gallantry award in military his story is one repeated to generations of officers it is the kind that is filled with an undying fire of patriotism and selflessness at the young age of 21 he performed an act of courage and self sacrifice that went far beyond the call of duty The sand of the desert is sodden red, red with the wreck of a square that broke, the gatlings jammed and the colonel dead, and the regiment blind 
with dust and smoke. The river of death has brimmed his banks, and England's far and honor a name. But the voice of schoolboy rallies the ranks. Play up, play up, and play the game. Jai Hind.